Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having an awesome Thursday. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. I'm really excited to get back to some Harry Potter sets and super excited to be starting the Chamber of Secrets series, which was my favorite Harry Potter book growing up. So today's build is set 4720 Nocturne Alley from 2003. So stick around to the end to hear my review and let's get started. So here we have the completed build. This set is right around 200 pieces and comes with two minifigures. And I've actually owned this set since it originally came out in 2003. I really liked this set. I remember seeing it in the catalog. And of all the sets that came out in this series, this was the first one I wanted to get. And I think it's because the printed parts were very unique, the minifigures were very unique, and the color design was super unique. So it uses a lot of sand blue parts, which were not traditionally used in the Harry Potter world. You are very commonly going to see the sand green, but I like that they use sand blue to kind of contrast with a little bit darker, perhaps more evil look to it because Nocturne Alley is kind of the last place you want to go. I know in the books and in the movie Hagrid's like, what are you doing here, Harry? This is not a good place to be. This is the bad part of town. So I really liked this because it was just totally different than anything else they had put out up to this point. And there are a few parts that are strictly exclusive to this set that are not in any other set, Harry Potter or otherwise, at all, which is also really cool. So to start, we've got the minifigures. We've got Lucius Malfoy. So that's Draco Malfoy's father. He does come in one other set using this torso. I believe it's the Freeing Dobby set. And then we also have Harry here. This is an exclusive torso to this set. So Harry is only seen in this torso in this set. And actually that torso is not used in any other set other than this one either. So an exclusive piece there, which is really cool. All right, and then for Nocturne Alley, I really like the use of this window. That was a, a little bit common piece during this era, but not used in a ton of sets. Uh, the first set I remember our house having was the um, Police Command Center. I can't remember right off what year that came out, but it came with a bunch of these. They had translucent green windows, and we thought they were so cool. So really nice there. We've got a couple of dark gray owls. So this is right before LEGO did the color change. 
So I like all the classic grays. Here we have the interior. This is a nice kind of cash register piece used in a, a, several of the Harry Potter sets but I don't know if it was used outside of that. And then we've kind of got the interior to the store here. So I'm gonna pull a few of the pieces out just so you can see them a little bit closer up. Inside there's a little table that's holding a translucent green goblet and one of these, you know, the satchels with the spider. So it looks like a little table. And then when you lift it up, there's a face underneath. So kind of cool. This translucent green goblet is actually only in this set in this color. So another exclusive piece there. There is a different goblet variation that comes in translucent green that's in quite a few sets, but this version of it in translucent green is only in this one set. I looked it up on Bricklink and there are only 43 for sale on all of Bricklink, so that's kind of how rare it is. But kind of a cool piece uh, you might look into getting if you just want something a little bit more on the rare or unique side. And then there is also this really cool tile piece that has a printed green hand on it. So this piece is also exclusive only to this set. So another really cool piece. And then we've got one more kind of unique part. It is a translucent clear head that has a brain printed on it. So that one's really cool also. And this does also come in one other set. It's a Lego Studios set. So it's in this set and one other set. So also kind of a rarer, more unique part. So those are all really nice. This is a small kind of simple set, but it's got some unique parts like I was just saying and you know the unique coloring so still really interesting. Here on the other end is the fireplace chute that Harry comes through to get to Nocturne Alley. So this piece in the back will lift up and you can put Harry through the chute back here so this piece will pull to open or close the chute. So I'll open it and then Harry will come down the fireplace. So in the movie that's what happens how he accidentally gets to Nocturne Alley is he's in the fireplace, he says Diagon Alley incoherently which is hilarious to watch in the movie um, and then he gets shot through the fireplace to Nocturne Alley instead. So I like that they included that scene because it was kind of a big moment in the book and in the movie. Um, so to do a whole set for it was kind of nice. And it is a fun set. It, it goes great, especially now that we have, you know, a couple of different Diagon Alley variations. It's nice to have this also. I think LEGO should eventually do a larger scale Nocturne Alley. I'm hoping that's on their list here sometime in the near future and that they're not done producing Harry Potter sets yet. I do believe there's another wave expected in 2021 and I'm hoping maybe later down the road they'll still do a larger version of this because I believe this is the only one that's out there right now. It is smaller, it's from 2003, so it's definitely time if they were going to do a remake that this would be a great one to do a remake for. But all in all, a phenomenal set. I do know this set is a little bit more on the expensive side because there are some rare parts and minifigures. So I do know right now that it, it might be a little challenging or expensive to get, but definitely worth looking at the parts list because there are some really fun parts and you might be able to design your own Nocturne Alley even bigger or you know more intricate than this one.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time. If you'd like a For Bricks and Giggles t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, go to my webpage link in the description and click the merch button.